Hello, Warrior families. This is Dr. Todd Schutz, Superintendent of Schools. It's been a while since I've provided you with an update. Matter of fact, when I'm out and about in the community, uh, I frequently hear, when are you going to do another update? So here's your update. I wanted to let you know about several things uh, that we're considering as it relates to the virus and we get into the summer months here and head towards the fall. Please know that when we talk about plans as it relates to this virus and its impact on our communities and schools, that plans change. You know as well as I do that the information that we have today about the virus can be very different tomorrow. And um, so I'm just gonna give you that disclaimer up front. Well, I can tell you all that we're thinking right now uh, in, in a week from now, it will be totally different. So we do have some good information at this point. Uh, we have some direction from the Department of, Ele of Elementary and Secondary Education uh, in close contact with our health department here in Clay County, um, so on and so forth. So first of all, summer school, we are slated to begin summer school on July 6th. Um, there's a virtual component to this program. Uh, there's a little bit of some face-to-face -face for some specific groups. Uh, but we are uh, still moving full steam ahead as it relates to summer school. Graduation, Clay County recently uh, relaxed the, um, the restrictions on gatherings. We now can gather up to 250 people. Dr. Platt, the high school principal, is planning on uh, some type of live graduation on July 18th. She's looking at that evening. Uh, she's communicating with parents and, and students and, and working through those details. So that's a good thing. We will be able to have uh, some kind of gathering as it stands today. So that's where we're headed as it relates to graduation. The big news, though, is the fall. Uh, we have made some progress in our planning for the fall. The school district put out a survey to parents recently. We received 1,134 responses. So thank you to everybody that provided your feedback um, filled out that survey so that we can get an idea of where our parents stand on what they would like to see from their schools when we open in the fall. By and large, our families are at least somewhat comfortable with returning their students to school, and I give you the same disclaimer and caveat with the information that you have now. So 94.5% were at least somewhat comfortable sending their child to school at this point in time. So that's a pretty large number. That speaks pretty loudly to the school district as we plan for the fall. So we would like to bring students back and we will do as much as we are allowed to do or can afford to do. Um, I'll say that again. We will do as much as we're allowed to do safely and can afford to do. So what we're looking at is bringing students back with layers of protection. Uh, that will be, will be required. We would not, if we're just bringing students back, that doesn't mean we disregard all of the social implications as it relates to the spread of the virus. So there would be layers of protections that we would need, need to adhere to. Also, not all families are comfortable with this. So that's important uh, to understand and important to respect. And so there would be um, an alternative for families that were not comfortable sending their students back to school. And that would be a, a virtual option. So we feel like we can accommodate that with so few numbers that would, that would choose that route. Uh, we feel like we can make that work for you and for your families. So that's, that's all good news. Lots and lots of details that would be associated uh, with all of that. Uh, those things have not been completely worked out. We're working on those things now. So the week of July 13th, the week of July 13th, it is our plan to reveal to the community, here, here's the details of our plan. Here's how we want to go about doing this. In fact, all of the Northland districts in Clay and Platte County um, are going to look at that week uh, as a target. Uh, we do collaborate with our neighbors, uh, neighboring school districts. Uh, we believe strongly in collective wisdom. We've got a lot of great school districts in our area, uh, so we work with them as well. Uh, bearing in mind that our job is to serve the Smithville district and the Smithville community um, first and foremost. So that's all that I have for you now. As always, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email e address is published on the website. Uh, so is the phone number. 
uh, to the district office. I do get emails uh, from parents that want to provide me with some in input. I do get phone calls. I appreciate all of that. I do get stopped in the grocery store and, and people provide me with their feedback there as well. And I appreciate all of that. Uh, I am your servant. It is my job uh, to serve this community. And I love to hear uh, where our community stands on these very important issues. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And as always, it's a great day to be a warrior.